I'm here today to talk to you about elements, compounds, and mixtures. Ah, you thought I was going to say total cereal, but it actually serves as a very good example of that. We reach in here and take out a couple of these wonderful flakes. The very fact that you can look at these and see different gradients of brown and brown and more brown, but different shades of brown, tells us right away we know it's a mixture. And a mixture of what, you might ask? Well, they tell, tell you exactly what it's a mixture of right here on the label. It's got 100% of everything in there. Now, no, it can't be 100% of all those things. Those are 100%, 100% of the uh, recommended daily allowance of those things. But uh, one of the things that kind of might surprise you is that there's iron in this cereal. Well, you say, of course there's iron. That's important for your, for your diet. It is important to have in your diet hemoglobin molecules which transport oxygen in the blood. Um, they rely on iron. But is that the same kind of iron, students want to know, as like cars are made of, hammers and nails are made of? Yes, it is. Well, if there is, in fact, iron in these flakes, you would think that uh, maybe they'd be attracted by a powerful magnet. Now, I've got a neodymium magnet right here, and uh, it's very powerful. I can Oh, you, oh, there, there's some iron in that blender. <laughs> oh. So, if, it, if there is iron in these flakes, we should see a definite attraction between the flakes and the magnets. So here we go. I'm going to bring this up next to them. Uh, I'm not seeing much here. No, nope, not even that little guy. Hmm. Well, there is an attraction, but because the iron in there is rather low concentration, it's not that strong, and there's a lot of friction between the flakes and the table. So here's an idea. We'll put these flakes in their natural environment, that is, floating in a little bowl. And I'm going to fill this Petri dish actually up all the way to the top, and then some, so that they float just like that. They don't tend to go toward the surface, to the sides. And now, if you watch this, you can definitely see an attraction to the magnet. Or, if I go like this, I can have it switch directions. Oh, there's quite an attraction. Let's look at this small flake we had there. It's a good question. Is it going to be more attracted by the magnet or less? It's got less mass, so less inertia, but it's also got less iron. Oh, <laughs> look at those two. They got magnetized and attracted to each other, I guess. Let's see this here. They definitely seems to be attracted pretty quickly, too. Hmm. So there is iron, and you might be able to judge different iron contents of these cereals by having little flake races across the bowl. Another thing you might try doing, though, is extracting that iron from the cereal. And that's rather easy to do. That's what I have this blender for. So I'm going to put about a cup of water in our blender. and about a cup of cereal, which according to the label is, how many servings is that? Well, about a serving. Three-fourths of a cup is a serving. So we'll get an idea of how much iron you get when you have a bowl of total in the morning. Okay? So here we go. Now I'm going to blend it for a little while. It's going to be rather noisy. So here we go. That's something you could call a cereal dilution. Ah, that's a joke, sorry. Anyway, um, <laughs> bad joke. We're going to, <laughs> yeah. We're going to pour this off into a cup here. Mmm, this looks appetizing, doesn't it? Ooh, nice and rich. And I'm going to actually pour it back a little bit here to try to rinse out that sludge in the bottom because I know there's some iron down there. Okay? And now, <laughs> when you do this, you want to make sure you use a plastic spoon because uh, otherwise you're going to get stuck to the spoon here. And I'm just going to hold this magnet in place for a while as I stir this around. 
If you make the, this is called a slurry, if you make the slurry too thick, it'll be hard for the iron to get through. So this is pretty liquidy here. And I think you can already see, if I move this magnet to the side, a little spot of iron that's formed there that was in there. There's plenty more in there though, so we'll collect a little bit more. This really disgusts the students. Like, they don't like to see cereal blended with water. And they certainly don't like to see elemental iron, the kind of iron that's in nails and car bodies in their breakfast cereal. But it's important for them to realize that that's an important nutrient, mineral for them to have in their diets. Now, once it's in the body, of course, it digests and it gets converted into iron ions. But it is in there as elemental iron. So here, I think we can get a good picture of and I don't think I've gotten it all. I don't know how long I have to stir it to get it all to come out, but uh, I've gotten a good portion of it there. And to show you that that is in fact the iron and the magnetic, watch what happens when I pull it over there. Now let's uh, pull it back here. Okay? So, there it is. <laughs> Iron in your breakfast cereal. Good example of a heterogeneous mixture and a nice little mixture separation done quite simply. Thank you.